So let's keyframe z, uh, z about one second in because it's going to fly in, and this is this is where we want our final position. So keyframe this where you want it on your final position, and keyframe. And then what we're going to do is we need to overshoot and undershoot to create that bouncy effect. So we're going to uh, press page up to move backwards a few frames. So we're going to go three frames, one, two, three. And this is going to be plus 50 for the overshoot, or for the undershoot, I think. I can't remember what. So, and then we're going to go three spaces the same way again by pressing page up. So, three frames one, two, three. And we're going to go negative 50. And that'll be keyframed. And then we're going to come to our first frame and hold shift and make this come off the screen like that like so so let's uh, ramp preview it and see if it looks correct let's uh, zoom in so I can see it better so that looks right we got the uh, bouncing right and everything it's just it's just really really slow so we are going to speed it up a little. Let's move these keyframes in. We'll try that. See how fast that is. Hmm. It's a little still a little too slow. Just only a little bit though. Now let's preview it again. There we go. That looks better. Now we can also add some motion blur to it. Let's see how that looks. Gotta enable the motion blur button right here. Right about that. And there we go. So we've got some motion blur on there, like that, as you can see, as it's flying in, and it fades off as it slows down. So what we're going to do now is just copy these keyframes onto the other uh, layers here. So let's uh, open the position on both of these. Select both of them. Right click, separate dimensions. All right, we're good there. Select these keyframes um, down here, and we're gonna hold Control or Command on the Mac and press C for copy, or you can come up to here and hit Edit Copy. And we're gonna come down to the last keyframe here and move ahead by pressing Page Down one keyframe, and we're gonna paste this on the Z position, and it's gonna paste where our current time indicator is at currently. So Control V. Now we can see this one's a little too, this one's not far enough out, so let's um, move it back so it's off the screen. And there we go. And then we'll come to the end and move ahead another keyframe, or another uh, frame, and paste on the Z position here. So this one we need to move a little bit out again. So we got some messed upness going on here. Negative 625. Should be at zero there. Oh, when I moved the Z position, I moved it for all of them. So I'm going to move back. So this is where we started when I first pasted it on. And I just want to move the Z position for this keyframe. I had all of them selected, so it moved everything back. Now let's see. Now it's in the right spot. So there we go. Now we can copy these key keyframes again. Move ahead one frame, 
and paste on the Z position for this word. And we'll see how it looks by previewing it. There we go. That looks cool. Let's add our motion blurs. You can add them on if you want, or you don't have to if you don't want. Whatever you think looks better, and whatever your client thinks looks better. So now we're going to do the same thing with our uh, picture here. Edit copy. Actually, let's copy these keyframes down here because we want it to come out like this one does. Edit. We want. Oh yeah. Edit. Copy. And now we're ahead one keyframe. Let's paste on here. And the Z position is now a little too far, so we'll come out like this. That looks good. We'll enable our motion blur. Close all these up. And let's run, run preview and see how it looks. And uh, there you go. That's how you. Uh, create some uh, text that's flying in and we've got the nice uh, landings there and um, in uh, motion graphics when you make those nice uh, bounce backs and overshoots and undershoots it, it looks uh, more real and our eyes expect that to happen so when you're doing something right and uh, nobody notices it then you know you've done it right. I mean, if you're making something and nobody notices that you did it right, then then you did it right, obviously. So there we go. So um, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys can create some cool looking stuff. I look forward to seeing uh, you guys' progress if if you ever post anything on uh, on YouTube for us to see and uh, up uh, like the video if. If you liked it, this or uh, downvote the video, or thumbs down it. I mean, if you didn't like it, um, subscribe because we're gonna have a bunch more uh, After Effects tutorials coming up, and we're gonna start getting into the uh, some more awesome things where we're gonna start making stuff look better. Since we have covered a lot of the basics so far, now we're gonna start uh, seeing us make some really cool stuff. So see you guys in the future on another tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.